It's the 2023 Christmas Beginner, Intermediate and Advanced Tutorial. So this is the beginner. So simple capturing of pieces, single calculation of movements, just one move calculations. Just nice and steady, real basic chess, castle linking safety, developing the pieces, attacking, developing the pieces, keeping it nice and simple, no extra further calculation, just one move calculations, taking pieces off the board appropriately, strategically. Smaller pieces attacking higher pieces makes sense, this pawn will go. So simple defense of this pawn here one move calculation now it's coming down attacking but we can just take the bishop off the board and we can just take the knight off the board and we can just move the knight and attack the pawn so nothing fancy or arty we are attacking their bishop so keeping it real simple capturing where it's appropriate strategically um, not thinking too much about position per se, just getting used to actually taking the pieces off the board in a more appropriate way, strategically, so at least you're not kind of trying to put yourself in deficit. So we've already got two pieces on there, so if we bring another piece in, can the knight come? No, the pawn can come and attack. We could attack the pawn, but I think they'll just push here. So that's a one move calculation. I think they'll just push on to the knight. So we could come here attacking the um, pawn on one move calculation. I think this pawn just drops to defend. Time is running out. Let's put a check on the king. Checks first, simply move to the side. But it does give us space to bring the rook here to attack and try and get the doubling of the rooks. Simple one move calculations. So time is running out. So I'm actually going to attack the pawn, attack the knight. I think the knight's just going to drop to protect. And we're still considering bringing the rook here, but they gave us something to think about. Queen's going for the exchange. Let's take it off the board. He proposes a take back. Don't know why they look like they're in a favorable position. Do we have something extra? I'm gonna click no. Well, I was gonna click no, but we're gonna take the rook. That's why <laughs> they propose the take back. Let's go here with the rook, attacking the pawn. Knight could look to take it off the ball. I think we'll go here. I think his knight's going to attack. His knight's going to come here, then when we take, then his rook comes down, puts a check on our rook and come down. Let's do that. Time is running out. It's zero increment. Keep it simple. What is it that they're planning to do? They're planning to put a check on here. So we could hit the pawn now, I think. Just keep it dirt, dirt simple. I'm going to take and just take. Don't think he's interested, but he'll get back rank mated if he moves anywhere else. So I think he has to take so that his king can escape. Yep, okay, so the pawn's going to move. Let's go and attack a pawn. 46 seconds, looks like we have to make some sort of movements. Uh, ooh, let's uh, attack the knight. Attack the knight again. He's got a fork. Let's take, but let's take the knight if he goes for the pawn. Keeping it dirt simple, let's attack the knight. Small piece attacking a higher piece, not having to overthink anything. We may as well go and attack the pawn. And shall we take? He's got a fork on our king. I don't think they're going to... Okay, let's go and push. Past pawns want to be pushed, as we know. Our seconds are running down, so I think they're just going to move quickly now. Check on the king, move the king. Or maybe they're not going to move at all. Nope. Okay, they are. And let's go. Push the palm. 
Are they looking at some sort of fork on the rook or something or the other? I can't see it. Let's push. Is he coming back to put a check on the king? And they've left the game. Excellent. Another whistle stop tour. Keeping things simple. One move calculations. But that one move calculation isn't about just doing silly moves. It's really attempting to try and take pieces off the board appropriately, strategically. And not thinking so much about getting a glorious position. But if you can take a piece, then you're taking it on equal terms. So you're not losing out. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And then from there, try and get the pieces working together. But really, as a beginner, you're just getting used to using the pieces and what they can do. So kind of just practice the power of the pieces, what they what they like to do, what they don't like to do, and then capturing where necessary. Ownings, key squares, key piece, you know, key pieces, those, those areas, key spaces. Um, you can start to touch on that a little bit if you want to, but really it's just about getting used to what the pieces can do and how they can strategically work together to capture pieces and improve their movement on the board notice how i stayed away from position on the board because as a beginner don't think so much about that think about well okay the person's moving x y and z what can i capture what can i do strategically to to get less pieces on the board so that the opponent doesn't have anything to attack me with keep it as simple as that as a beginner and then you shouldn't be too far wrong you'll be upsetting quite a few players with that sort of psychology of capturing pieces strategically, taking the pieces off the board because with no pieces on the board, the opponent doesn't really have anything to actually attack you with. Okay, this is the intermediary tutorial. Little whistle stop tour again for the 2020 end of 2023. So I'm going to push through the centre here with the intermediates. You're probably going to do a, maybe a two-move two calculation as maximum. And you're probably looking a little bit more at improving your position on the board. So we'll go here because the bishop's going to be taken and this pawn's going to go. It's now got two pieces on the pawn, so we could probably push the pawn up or we could go and castle. I think we're going to push the pawn onto the knight. They may take... Okay, let's just capture nice and steady away. We're still on their knight, so they have to find a way of moving. So we could actually move our knight, attacking this pawn, because our queen is on their knight. Um, but really, then they can just push their pawn. Not sure. It looks good. It looks good to me. I'm going to castle. We're going to castle. Keep it simple. It's attacking through the center. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece over the center pawn. Let's go with that. Because the knight is highly elevated and goes back into the corner. So we can take, but we are opening a space in front of our king. So it is something to be kind of mindful of. I'm going to bring the queen up here because they'll be chomping at the bit to take this pawn. We're attacking this pawn here. It does actually take the knight. Let's take the bishop off the board. I thought they might have hung fire a little bit on that one. Let's just capture the queen and it brings that back in line. So our king is protected by their pawn. So we don't really need to lose any sleep over that now. Next thing is, just bring the king here and then maybe look to get the rooks facing the pawn. I think we'll do that. Or oh, before we do that, let's entertain taking this pawn off the board, a little bit, taking a little bit more space. And they're moving dead quick, so we're going to attack the rook. I'm hoping they make a mistake by moving fast. Let's grab this pawn. And we've got space now to manoeuvre. This pawn looks like it's going to be going, but is there anything that we can do to attack so we can attack so we'll attack theirs and we can get their rook off the board if their king stays there king needs to move yep it's on a dark square though which is not really fair for us and we will go here if they forget themselves don't forget we've got the stealth bishop and let's just move here bishop could have taken but i don't want to waste my bishop i think i like the bishop there at the minute So he's probably looking to do a check. No, he's not done a check. Let's go and get this rook first. Let's take that off the board. And the stealth bishop does the magic trick. We did expect we did expect that to happen. Uh, it was just too tempting for them. Okay, they're still playing on. So we can take the pawn up here. 
if we take this, then it's elevating the knight a bit more. So I think we can just leave that pawn. I'm actually going to just take this pawn. Let's go here. Is he looking? Oh, he's got a fork. <laughs> he's got a fork. No, he hasn't. I thought he had a fork on the bishop and the knight uh, king, but he doesn't. So let's take. So they're looking to time us out then, it looks like. So we better speed up then. We better speed up because that's what they're trying to do. Okay, let's go here. And shall we just go here? And then start pushing the pawn up. Oh, let's take the knight off the board. That might make it a little bit easier. Before we do that, just block the king's passageway if they're continuing. Looks like they've left the game. So yeah, that intermediate one-two calculations, looking to try and improve your position on the board with the moves that you're making and obviously working the pieces together as best possible and again, utilising the correct capturing type of strategy, um, strategically capturing so to improve your position. And that's the difference between the beginner where you're basically just capturing just to get used to the pieces and what they can do and then the intermediate level, just basically, you now know what the pieces can do, but you're now putting them together and working them together better and taking more advantage of those weak areas, weak spaces, weak pieces. And most definitely of all is about utilising the team as best possible and capturing with two move calculation, maximum two move calculation. If you stay on that sort of area there, it becomes a bit more appropriate for you as you're working within the in intermediate level. This is the advanced tutorial, whistle stop tutorial for 2023, the end of 2023. So as we always know, the advanced section, maximum of a four move calculation if you have that time. And as with all the others, basically it's appropriate capturing, strategically capturing to remove pieces from the board. Yeah. Working the pieces together. Finding those weak areas, weak pieces to attack. And just keep it as simple as possible. The more arty you feel that you're getting in the game, the less opportunities you are to actually gain an advantage in the game an appropriate advantage a simplified advantage because you're going to be ending up chasing your tail so we want to keep things as simple as possible We're going to tack through the center here simple and straightforward let's capture the pawn and we can just bring the bishop here just to get it into action let's take the knight off the board and let's castle so the opponent took a massive break and now they're moving super speedy Going to move the queen off of the line because the rook obviously is coming so let's just bring the bishop here and let's bring our rook facing there um okay oh mouse slip <laughs> but they've moved too fast <laughs> mouse slipped <laughs> i'm going to take the bishop anyway all right these things happen and um blah, 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 blah. let's see now let's bring the queen up they're moving too fast yeah he's resigned <laughs> They're moving too fast and I mouse slipped. Okay, I think we'll play another one just to um, sign off the advanced section. Okay, the advanced section. Let's just focus and concentrate. It is three minute zero increment, but we don't have to play it like it's bullet. So as we mentioned, it's really just, I'm going to actually capture here and then just bring the pawn, supporting the pawn. It's more about the deeper calculation if you need to. So basically just start off as simple as possible. And if it does get complicated, then that's where your four move calculation comes in. And this is why I've mentioned before that, well, there's no real difference between the beginner and the advanced and the intermediate, because what you're really looking for are some type of openings that you can take advantage of, utilizing your pieces together and capturing appropriately. So you don't need to start doing any advanced type thinking or anything unless it warrants it. So capturing here looks kind of simple to me. So we're just capturing. If I was thinking of any other continuation, I think I'd be being a bit too arty. A smaller piece attack and higher piece can't be wrong.
because it gives them something to think about. And then from that point on, we can look at and see what we need to do. It's attacking the pawn on the bottom here. So let's just simply block off. And I think that is the difference, obviously, as well, is that, you know, you're looking at what the opponent is doing. You're, you're blocking things off, you know, and you're not rushing to, oh, this is a two-on-one, but it's not a very good two-on-one because one of the rooks will just come here and face off the queen. So I'm actually just going to hit the queen again. Let's take dirt simple. Let's just push this block in the pawn. So we're going to have to just support this pawn with the rooks. As you can see, it's all simple stuff. And this bishop's got to pay the price for not... I mean, they've blocked this access here, haven't they, for themselves. Now they've created it. Right, okay. So, let's move. Obviously, the bishop is attacking the rook. Yeah, that's all basic stuff. If you can see that coming a mile off, let's just bring the knight across. So he should really be looking to double his rooks on this pawn because I, I don't get another pawn um, rook in this position. But it doesn't look like they're doing that. So we need to operate a little bit of stealth. They may drop this here, but if they don't, then maybe we can dance around. Okay, they're not doing that. Let's go here. Have to move a little bit swifter. I'm trying to get this rook here, but I don't know if we're going to get time. So the knight can dance here. Could bring the rook up, but it's not really helping the cause. I'm going to bring the rook like we said. Not that it does anything major, because I still can't get to here to support this pawn. I'm going to hit the bishop. And I don't think there's much else. It might be a draw. Let's just bring the knight, see if he's going to capture No, maybe not. Then we can jump again. So he's looking to push down here. But then really they should be do doing this here. That's our danger spot, them getting a two-on-one here. Because this pawn cannot be supported because of the bishop. Is there any way of doing this? And then he goes like that. Yeah, is there anything here? Is there anything here? I'm going to jump here. Looks annoying. It's not actually doing anything, but. Got the opportunity to attack the rook, but then I might end up getting trapped. So I need to be a bit stealthy about this. So this is a safe haven. That's a safe haven. Yeah. Okay, let's just come back. There wasn't anything else. Well, no, there wasn't. No. Okay. Oh, ooh, if the bishop wasn't there. Damn it. Right, so it's looking to actually do some destruction here, isn't it? So we'll move the king. So we move the king across? Oh, we can't go any further. Might as well bring the rook here then. 44 seconds. As you can see, look what we're trying to do is try and block off what the opponent can do. Um, ooh, let's hit this pawn now. I think it's time. I think it's time. Let's get up here. And maybe we can put pressure on. And he has to defend. I think that's what they should have done there. So we'll bring this here. Their rook goes there. No, it's not. What am I missing? Let's take. Let's take. Um, what am I missing? Bishop, 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 bishop. No. Let's go here. I feel like I'm missing something. They're moving that fast. Oh, let's capture. Oh, it's going to hurt, isn't it? That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. He does take. Two pawns for the rook. Eight seconds. Oh, we won on time. You know, showing the advanced sort of way of thinking about the game and 
looking at what the opponent can do and trying to block that off. And in this particular game here, we didn't have enough Arsenal to actually protect the pawn that could have been doubled up on by their rooks. So thankfully, they didn't spot that. But as you could see throughout the development of the game, it's more about finding those appropriate positions. Definitely look, if you're the one doing the attacking and you're in a good favourable position and you've got the advantage, it's about keeping that pressure on, working the pieces together, finding more appropriate pieces and places to actually um, position your pieces to make it harder for the opponent. But if it's like the opponent looks like they've got the upper hand, you really have to sit back and have a look at what it is that they can actually do to you and is there anything that you can actually block off. And this way it comes into like the one, two, three, four calculation if you have that time to actually think about that many combinations of a calculation. And and the upshot is really simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically because with no pieces on the ball, the opponent cannot do anything to yourself. And in this kind of game, it kind of shows that removing their pieces from the board, we've now got more material than them and hoping that the position potentially looks a little bit better for us as well. It's those types of things that you're looking at within your advanced area. But for me, from beginner, intermediate to the advanced, even from thinking that you're advanced or whatever it is, from the moment you make a first move, we're all beginners because... You can't do anything advanced in that one move. So you're a beginner from that move. You're a beginner from your second move. So just keep that in mind as you're working through your movements. You're only advanced in your head or the number that you've got associated to you um, when more disadvantaged and you have to put those extra bits of calculation in. Other than that, all games of chess, they are beginners. The difference between beginner, intermediate and advanced is in the calculation of the pieces of attacking, working the pieces together, attacking those key spaces, key areas. And at the end of the day, it's really about working as a team to actually gel, calculate, even if it's a one move calculation, because at the end of the day, you're only going to be making that one move. So underneath that one move, you may have done a 50 move calculation, but for us, you would have probably done a maximum of four move calculation. But at the end of the day, you're only making one move. And it's that one move that has to count. So it, it doesn't really matter what you've calculated. All that matters is the move. So your opponent doesn't know that you have made 50 million calculations to make that move. And they could turn around and go, God, what a beginner move that is. And you feel like you're playing like an advanced player. So understanding that beginner, intermediate and advanced in your own chess world definitely just means that you're wanting to try and simplify your moves as best possible as advanced as you might be, the simpler the moves you can make, the better. The more complicated your moves are, that's where you're going to come across somebody who is a lower rated player and they'll beat you. And then you sat there wondering, I have done this for 50 years. How can this young upstart beat me? Well, it's because you overcomplicated a simplified situation. Enough said. <laughs>